Hey, you, aloha, I'm Wellesley, and I get asked this question all the time in my how to use Posca paint pen video, and it's how to draw on glass with the Posca paint pens. How to draw on glass, how to seal it, can you draw on plexiglass, all these questions. So I thought I'd make a quick video today and do some experimenting with you guys so you kind of see my process of how I experiment. Three tips for drawing on glass with your Posca paint pens. Tip number one, clean it off, Windex, water, whatever you got, wipe it down, make sure it's dry, prep your surface, get that thing clean. Tip number two, draw on it. Be super careful. It scratches off really easy. Your hands are gonna erase it if you're working over a thing. Try to work one way to the other, top to bottom, so your hand isn't just running into your ink because it slides off really easy. Tip number three, coat that thing. Get it on there. As soon as your paint dries, spray that on there. One coat works great. You want to get it on there really quickly because the paint pen scratches off so easy on the glass. So just finish your drawing, get out there and spray it. Three tips, easy. Okay, you. Sorry if the shop's a little noisy. We have a big working studio here and a lot of stuff's going on. So pardon all the background noise, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my glass, right? Generally with paint pens, always have a clean surface. Problems usually occur from your surface not being clean, your surface not being rough enough. I always say clean the surface, prep your surface. It's so important. I'm gonna use black so you can see. First thing I would do if you're like, uh, will paint pens work on this piece? Just draw a little bit on the corner. You see that right there? Low commitment, right? Let that thing dry. All right, I got my little sample test on the corner. I'm gonna just move it with my finger. See how, how strong it is on the surface. And you can see there, it's pretty much wiped off. This is gonna kinda show that just cause it wipes off easy doesn't mean it won't work, I think. I am kind of experimenting right now with you guys here. So I think what we'll do is we'll just draw something super simple, um, a big thick black paint pen. The big ones are gonna dump out a lot more ink than the littler ones and so we might as well try it with the big one. What should I draw? Ooh, uh, just write a little. All right, so there you go. Drew real, just how I normally draw on the glass. You know what, let's just have some fun and throw some colors around here and experiment. You can see that the paint pens work really well on the glass, but if we're going to touch it and be rough with it and touch it at all, it's going to just scrape off really easily. If you need to erase, you can just use your sharp razor blade and scrape it right off. Let's see, we'll do a little bit right here just to test. This, this part's dry. Perfect. So if you need an eraser, this is perfect. This is what I use for the resin panels when I draw on those, but easy for you guys to use. Okay, before I go outside and spray it, I do want to try out a little test because I'm sure you just won't be doing one color over the glass and that's it. You know, I do a lot of outline stuff and Posca pen over Posca pen. So I'm gonna just, a couple of these dry spots here, I'm gonna just see how it is doing Posca pen over Posca pen on glass. I'm going really lightly, I don't want the aqua green color to pull up the light blue that I'm going over. So I'm going real light. It, it's working, but once again, I'm going really light. I'm gonna try to go really hard on this one. You can actually see a little bit of that light blue on the tip of the pen. Hopefully you can see that there. So it does work. You can do paint pen over paint pen on glass. I'm gonna spray this once this all dries and we're gonna test how much we can touch it and handle it. Maybe it might work for the applications that you're doing, but you might coat it and then flip it around and show the other side. I don't know, just an idea. Experimenting here, it's what we do. I'm pretty much all dry, so we're gonna take this outside and spray it with some crystal clear acrylic. Okay, let's go. It's my studio. Yeah. Big piece working on right there, upstairs. Fun stuff, okay, it might get loud. Oh, beautiful Hawaii weather. All right, so read your can. Could be about 12 inches away from the surface that you want to paint. Other tips for spraying are 12 inches away, shape the can. And then you also want to spray so you're like out of the wind so it doesn't blow right into you. So 
So you can see it's actually pretty windy here. We're in Maui and it's always windy. So I had to spray it real close. If it's not windy where you're doing, I would, uh, I would spray back a little further. I'm gonna do half of it, the HA part, with two coats. And then we're gonna kinda play inside and scrape that out. All right, that looks good, back inside. I'd let it sit out in the sun a little bit longer, actually. Let it cook. We'll come back to that in a minute. So this is the upstairs um, painting zone. This is where we do all of our resin stuff and whatnot. This is what I actually coat my paintings with. This is a layer of resin that gets sanded and polished. So a little different, a little harder to do, a lot harder to do. It's recorded right there. Um, but it gets polished. Jacob polishing it in here. So this is what I do here in the shop. Crystal clear is great. The spray acrylic is great for like drawing on surfboards and we'll see how it is on drawing on this uh, glass. It's really light, cheap, quick, effective way to coat your Posca paint pens or any paint pens, but I always use Posca. Let's get and see. Oh, windy. We got it all dry. Ooh, love that crystal clear smell. Here we go. All right, so we got two coats on this side, one on this side. Here we go, the test. Well, first of all, the finger test. Uh, well, it's not rubbing off. So that's a great sign. I would say if you want to draw with Posca paint pens on glass, do it. It's going to be epic. Side with one coat, it, it looks better. So we got razor blade test. Oh, that noise. Fingernail test. So the razor blade works really well for erasing, even if you've done the spray acrylic. So say you wrote some dates on here or something, you got the date wrong, or you, or you just messed up, whatever it is, you can still erase it, fix your mistake, and come back really quick, light spray. There is a difference between two coats of spray and one coat of spray, so be very conscious when you're doing that. But overall, for all those people that ask about using Posca paint pens on glass, it works. It works killer. The backside works great. Um, just make sure you spray acrylic it, and it's gonna look great. You know, it might not stand a razor blade fight or scratching it with your nails or other stuff, but it holds up pretty good. And if you're doing artwork with it and it's just gonna go right up on the wall, it's a go. It's fun, it looks great. The backside looks amazing. So think about that when you're doing it as well. But have fun out there. If you got any questions, shoot them down below. Happy to answer them. I love experimenting and I love all your questions. If there's anything you go, hey, can you Posca paint pen on this? Tell me, I'll try it out. I'll make a video. Like subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and we'll see you later. Aloha. You.